In this Lightworks tutorial I will show you how to create a simple freeze frame video clip by extracting an image from a single frame. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Lightworks. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, there's a couple of ways of freezing a frame in Lightworks. Um, there is a freeze frame option in Lightworks, but in my opinion, it's hard work. There's an easier way of doing it. So I've actually just set this project up. But before going into it, if you look for the cogs, and this should say system settings, just left click on this, and what you're looking for is the assign. Uh, sorry, the key assignments. Select this, and this will bring a box up that looks similar to this one. And in the search box, type the words save current, and then select search. And you should see something that comes up that says save current frame. Select assign key. Now you need to find some keys that aren't already being used. I found if I hold down control and then F it will actually say unassigned. Um, if yours says different you may want to choose something different but in this instance I'm going to use control F and then left click on add key. And if at any point you want to change this you can just left click on remove key on making sure that this is selected. Okay, I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go into my new project. Now the first thing, right click on V1 and then next to tracks select add video. And this will bring another track in. This is something you don't have to do this, but I found this is an easier way of doing things. Okay. Now you can either play this or just drag your video. I'm not using proxies, by the way, because when you save a frame using proxies, I believe you'll end up with a lower definition image. So you'll either need to turn proxies off or not use them at all. So if I say I want to freeze this here, the first thing I'm going to do is just hit Control F. And what that should do is place an image in your um, pictures folder. Mine comes up automatically selected. You may want to, you may have to search because I'm using Linux. I don't know how this works in any other um, operating system. Basically, you're looking for something called sequence, and it will be a PNG image to the definition of the video that you are using. Okay. Now I'm going to just drag this image into the timeline into the um, project's contents box and I'll close this down. Now making sure that you haven't moved your pointer and also make sure your caps lock is off just hit C on your keyboard and this will split your clip at the point where your image was taken. Drag this out of the way and now look you don't want to use this, your video you want to just double click your sequence which is the image and this will bring this edit box up. The reason I'm doing this is for some reason on my system the image just goes on forever and the minute I bring it into the timeline so all I'm going to do is if you select add an in mark at the current position just play this for a very short period of time stop it then add an out mark once you've done that drag the image into the timeline and snap it up to the end or your your first 
the end of your first part of your video and just play it for now okay it's not could do with being a bit longer so I'm going to just drag this out a bit you just hold your left mouse button down over the edge so let's play this again that'll do you can play around with the length of this by dragging it backwards and forwards and all I'm going to do now is just snap this up and we'll play it just to see what it looks like and that's pretty good um, obviously audio is something you may want to consider if because you, you haven't got any audio for this side that you do over in the audio section so you can reduce the audio down to nothing um, and that's all there is to it really um, I won't go into rendering or anything because as I said at the beginning I assume you have a basic understanding of um, editing in Lightworks. Don't forget to turn your proxies off when you come to rendering your video. So hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers!